everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is shubham alok and today i am going to talk about kakani chakra basically this is a table using which we find out whether a city is auspicious for us or not this is seen both for the case of for the purpose of living in that city and for the purpose of doing business in that particular city the most important thing is not only city but for any financial transaction for this method this particular table can be used in this table a particular calculation is done that i will illustrate you shortly and using that particular table you get two numbers the creditor and the debtor number if the creditor number is more if your number is more and the city's number is less or even you say if the benefit is more and the loss is less you can live in that city if the loss is more and the benefit is not that city is not beneficial for you so primarily this is used for cities this is used in vastu but can be used for other purposes also it can be used in matchmaking it can be used in finding uh, how this company will be for you it can be to find out how your relationship with your boss will be and for multiple 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 things this can be used the first thing <clears throat> now this particular table is used with respect to the first letter of the popular name of the person and the first letter of the institution city or any place for that matter but why am i talking about it i am talking about it because from october i am going to do a course on vastu in this course i will talk about the vedic principles of vastu and how by using vastu you can make a good home for yourself and in that home by living in that home you can be more fortunate more prosperous and more lucky remember as i always say astrologically speaking there are only three remedies which are astrologically approved finding a muhurta matchmaking and vastu so finally from this october for the next 4 to 5 months i am going to teach a vastu course where classes will be every week online that will be recorded with an access to the recordings for a lifetime if you are interested in learning vastu making yourself more fortunate <clears throat> being more lucky and if you seriously want to progress in your life attract abundance and learn good astrology predictions and is interested in vastu join that course the the description uh, about the course i will <clears throat> leave in the description section below please check that out coming to the topic that i was saying there is a particular shloka kakinya varg suddho cha dyute vade sarodaye mantre punarbhu varne naam rasha kha in kakini this particular table that i am going to talk about in thinking about whether you will win or the enemy will win generally used in cricket matches in any competition while talking of things such as you know uh, things such as jua jua is more like things such as stock market etc in the matters of court cases in the matters of travels in the matters of taking initiation providing mantra to people in the matters of remarriage the name of the person the rashi where the name of the person falls is more important as compared to the rashi where the moon is stationed in the birth horoscope this is a standard rule the shloka that i have mentioned you comes from a very authoritative text and the first reason for problem in astrological practice is the ignorance of this particular shloka right now coming to what kakini is table is kakini so now you see there is a varga starting with a varga which contains the letter a a e e u u r a a o o m a i have not translated it into english 
this is hindi for people who don't know hindi they have to they should go with the pronunciation right rather than the transliteration hence go with the pronunciation this falls in a varga which falls in is and have the value of one next is ka varga containing the letter ka kha ga gha da this falls in southeast with the number value 2 then comes cha varga with the letters cha cha ja cha ya in the south with value 3 then comes ta varga with the letter ta tha da tha na da dha in southwest with the value 4 then comes ta varga with the letters ta tha da dha na which falls in west with the number value 5 then comes pa varga containing letters pa pha ba bha ma in the northwest direction containing the value 6 followed by ya varga containing the letter ya ra la va in the north with the value of 7 and lastly comes a sha varga with the letter sa sh sa ha in northeast containing the number value 8 the formula is very simple take the first letter of your name write it first then take the name of the city, the first letter of the name of the city, write it after your name, divide it by 8, and the remainder is the benefit. Reverse it. First write the value for the first letter of the city's name, followed by the letter number obtained by first letter of your name, divided by 8, and the answer, the remainder is the loss. Using this method, if the benefit is more, if the gain is more, the city is favorable for you. Whereas if the loss is more, the city is unfavorable. I should give you an example. Look at it closely. Someone name is, you say, Shubham. This Subham is wishing to live in Dehradun. Gain, loss. This Subham is wishing to live in Dehradun. First, what I will take, gain formula is person, city, divided by 8. Loss formula is city, person, divided by 8. So, Shubham, the names comes in sure with value 8. Dehradu, which falls under the varga, the have the value 5, it becomes 85, that have to be divided by 8. 85 divided by 8, the answer is 10.625, 10 multiplied by 8 is equal to 80, minus 85, the remainder is 5. This 5 is the gain. Then reverse it for the loss. The value of the city Dehradun, the first word is Dehradun, the which comes in the ta varga, the first value is 5. Then Shubham, the first letter comes in sha, value 8, just reversed it. 85 becomes 58, this is then divided by 8. 58 divided by 8, answer is 7.25, 7 multiplied by 8 is equal to 56. Minus 58, the answer is 2. Hence, the gain for Shubham in Dehradun is 5 and the loss for Shubham in Dehradun is 2. Now, you know that gain is more and loss is less. Hence, Dehradun is beneficial for Shubham. Not only Dehradun, all the cities that comes in this Tavarga, Dose Dili, Dhase Dehradun, Dhase Dhanabad. Dha also stands for Dhanalti, that's the place. 
now for nagpur and uh, now for nagal nagaland tho for uh, i think some some place from tho should also be there uh, tho is uh, many places should be from tan just not able to recall the name but all the places whose name starts from the 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 na technically should result in the same equation that i have presented here hence for shubha any state whose name is from the letter ta is good right because the gain will be 5 and the loss will be 2 second step now there is one particular point that you should notice here the gain was 5 and the loss was 2 there was a significant difference between the gain and the loss this is good if the loss is 4 and the gain is 5 in that particular scenario the difference between gain and loss will be less minor hence the progress in such area will be much negligible thus this should be taken into consideration more the difference in gain versus loss with the gain being more and loss being less is what we are basically searching for that's the first point secondarily my equation goes the name of the state is having 55% of value the name sorry the name of the city is having 55% of value the name of the state is having 20% of value and the name of the area in the city where one is living is having 25% primarily the name of the city should be favorable this makes up for almost everything if the name of the city is not favorable still the name of the state and the name of the area is favorable somehow it will make up to 45% of auspiciousness though that is not recommended <laughs> but one can work with it keeping in mind that only 45% of gain will be there right that's the first one second nearly what i have noticed now you know in earlier times there was a name for the home also you go to you know you go to villages of india there will be a name for every home people took name as an entity this is the hindu tradition we take vedas as a human so vishnu comes as ved purush we take everything as a human your home is also human there is a name for the home as well there were many beautiful names that that were kept in the past if you ever visit a traditional india village traditional in the city you find them. i strongly recommend everyone to have a name for your home also write it into a good name plate put it on the front door of your home and beautiful the name plate beautiful the more beautiful the front gate of the home will be more good it will bring to you better it will be for you door is the place from where lakshmi the goddess of blessings and auspiciousness will enter your house and remember lakshmi the goddess of auspiciousness does not like dirty things she hate dirt keeping that in mind make a very good front home decorate it and have a beautiful name plate keep a name for your home and that name should bring you more gain and less loss there is one more point that i will want to add in this particular video in a city 
the corners of the city are not considered good at all. The northeast direction is Cherokee. The southeast direction is Vidari. The southwest direction is Putana. And the northwest direction is the residence of Paprakshasi. These are not good. Hence, people living in corners of a city, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, it is not auspicious. Hence, always try either to live in the east, west, north, south of the city, that will be good, or for Brahmins in the field of learning, specifically all of us into any type of learning, reading, specifically those who are practicing astrology and other such study-related sciences, we come in the category of Brahmins. And as much as possible, you should live in the center of the city or as close to the center of the city for the auspicious results to happen. These are the rules of Vaidik Vastu. These are the original rules of Vastu that I have talked about in this video and that I am going to talk about in the forthcoming course on Vaidik Vastu, which includes a lot of Astro Vastu as well because astrology and Vastu are interconnected. The first reference of Vastu, the oldest reference of Vastu that you find comes along with astrology only. Hence, Vastu is entirely Vaidik in nature without any doubt. But the problem is the Vastu that you learn today is heavily influenced by the other religions. There is a lot of uses of Japanese, Chinese and European things in Vastu. Now, the type, how it is practiced. With the inclusion of these things, you know what have happened? We have forgotten our Vedic knowledge. And because we have forgotten our Vedic knowledge, Vastu today is not working the way it is supposed to work. This is the particular reason our great country is struggling. It is slowly improving in the condition. But you know, in the Vedic time, India was the golden bird. It was told but that golden word somewhere is lost because we lost the Vedic wisdom. It is the time that we reclaim the Vedic wisdom and make the Vedic world again. So that we become the superpowers. And for that, you remember in the earlier times in the Gurukuls, it was essential for everyone to learn astrology and learn Vastu. Because by learning astrology, by learning Vastu, by learning astrology and everything connected to astrology, you are not only doing good to the society, but the first good that is happening will happen with you. The first good that will happen will happen to your own life. Before you take your clients to fortune, you will take yourself to fortune. Hence, it is necessary to learn it yourself for your own uses because no one can do a detailed analysis of your horoscope. No one can give you an as extensive remedy no one is as concerned about you as you yourself are, right? So learn it yourself. And what I have seen is people, as they start learning in astrology, they start attracting abundance in life because they start understanding the biggest celestial powers, the biggest divine powers of the universe that are the planets and the components of time. The Vedic Vastu course, which is a five-month course, is starting from October this year in 2022 itself. I have very limited seats, almost 60-70% uh, of admissions I have already given. Only 30% admissions are yet to be given. So you should join the course if you are really interested in changing your life and being more fortunate, attracting more abundance. Thank you for watching this video. We shall meet very soon. Namaskar.